All right, we got game two. First Akali this time should be a lot more difficult until we get snowballing again, I guess. I don't know. Akali is annoying, but we're also playing an equal annoying champion, so it should just cancel out. It should just be an even matchup, right? Brand jungle. The thing is, Brand and Vayne, I'm going to absolutely one-shot. Poppy support, I think, is going to be annoying. She can cancel my Q dash. I don't know if she can stop my E since I go untargetable. Now we strike. All right, I did not get... I got one minion. Well, at least she doesn't have Doran Shield second. Well, she might have second wind. Doesn't have a Doran Shield, though. I'm not really the champ to run a door and shield against because I don't Love poke her. Thanks. Yes. Please don't have E. Please don't have E. Okay, she got W. I should have went door and shield against her with how much she's going to poke. Nice. Jumped over it, got a nice little trade on her. If I go hit that minion, she would have hit a Q on me. I still got the minion anyway, though. I mean, I think I'm favored in fights up until she presses Shroud. After she does that, I can't really hit anything on her. I can hit E. She didn't Q this. No. Uh, hello. How you doing? You lost, little guy? Okay, I hope you find your way. They take his... Oh, did Brand take his blue? Brand, you dirty rat. You're not supposed to take that poor mummy's blue buff. I want to go kill him, but Akali's got me pushed in. All right, let's trade really quick. Well, kind of outplayed her pretty hard there. Saw she landed the E and she's 100% gonna take it. So I flash under turret, takes turret shot, I win the fight. What a robbery, he got out with it. Oh no, I'll scare him, I'm trying to scare him. No. No. Oh, he has flash. Okay, he's good. Well, my wave's kind of screwed. I can't go get this because Poppy, Brand, and Vayne are over here. But I got an alternator. Is this the same person? Wanna see a trick? You know. If she doesn't push this wave, I'm still ahead of her, but get less farm. Looks like it's going to slowly come to me. She flashed away, right, after I brought her under turret, but it wasn't enough. Brand does massive amounts of damage. I need to make sure... I wasted my W. And I missed the minion with it. It's just if she's pushed, to, or if I'm pushed up too far, I just gotta be careful because I have to run so far away. And if Brand's here and I use my E, I don't have anything to get away and I'm dead. I'm gonna try and bait out her shroud though, nice. Oh no, he's good. She overchased a little bit too far. Oh my god. I got nothing. Oh, he's ghosted. I don't know if I can kill him, actually. Yes, got the key. He's low, but like, not low enough. 
because even if he lives with like 5% HP, he's gonna kill me because I'm pretty low myself. I can start walking down. Maybe I could do something. Ooh, fruit. Where is the brand? I saw him over here. Oh, this could be a double. Double trouble. Let's pop you up W. Yes, you do. I don't even need to ult, holy cow. The fizz damage. I mean, they're two levels below me. <laughs> That's kind of crazy. I couldn't E after the poppy blocked my Q. It locks you out of movement, I think, for like two seconds or a second. Well, this game's actually kind of going faster than the last one, so maybe this might be I'll show them a watery grave. first game we'll see. No, this game is the second one, but if my lanes lose this game, I'm going to have like 30 kills just because I'm going to one-shot everyone but they do have champs that are gonna be able to kill me back if i go in and don't make it out because even though they're gonna die a lot all right i canceled this stupid auto reset i've been noticing that this season it's like i'm canceling auto resets like crazy I would alt her, but even alt Q leaves her healthy still. Hello, fireman. Bye, fireman. Oh, I didn't use my W. I think I... Oh, wow. Well. Calling me. I didn't use my W there, I guess. Or it reset from killing Brand? I don't know. Could have killed her. That guy, oh, good ult. Although Mord ulted after he ulted, so he just steals the stats back. But I think, yeah, Mord's gonna die to the turret. That's really good. So we don't even have the Sork Shoes yet this game. And last game we got the Sork Shoes before we even had the Storm Surge. They won't catch me. Did I say something about Twitch Prime in the Zwagmo video? Is that my only coming in today? An enemy has been slain. In a splash. Yeah, the nice thing about Fizz is you can... Oh, hang on. The nice thing about Fizz is... I'm dead. No, I'm fine. The uh, saying is you can trade someone under turret and then just jump out. Oh, fudge. He ghosted too. Need to stall some time here. Jump ahead of you. I think I just execute. An ally has been slain. They get XP, but no money. That's cool. Cool with me. 
No money for you. Let's see. Move speed or 10 more AP? I'll take the move speed. I gotta get back to lane. I mean, I still had flash, so that Akali wasn't gonna kill me there, but... Oh, she's going Leandre's first, or Rift? I feel like she's going Rift Maker. Brands on Grubs. I have my eyes on this cannon, though. Now I can go up. Um, I mean, we can. I just hope he doesn't all me. We don't all like a moon if he gets too close. Oh, Trundle's actually winning lane pretty hard. I could have sworn he was losing based on uh, that dive. I mean, I just need to not get hit by that E. If I don't get hit by the E, she doesn't really have any damage. Probably wasn't expecting this. Goodbye. Boom. You know, there's Akali's and Yon's every other game. Like, sure, the champions don't have... Maybe they do have high win rates. I don't know. But... I mean, I feel like even if they nerf them, people are still going to just play those champions. So... Not really much we can do until people start just playing, like, counter picks into them, like Nautilus and stuff, and just make their life hell. Yeah, those kind of champs, they make you feel like you're a god at the game because you're doing all these, like, flashy moves and whatever, even though it's not, it's really not hard to do. And, even if you feed, you're not out of the game, so... They're good champs for noobs, but the problem is... I feel like the people who play those champs, they rarely ever get better at the game, because they're stuck in this endless loop, endless playstyle... ...of learning how to just all-in with a broken champ, but if they play anything else... They run it down because they're not playing something so broken and strong. They don't know how to. They don't learn how to farm with those champs. Trying to teach my girlfriend how to get better. She's just hitting gold, but I've noticed she's running into a point where she's not really getting much better. It's because she's not really trying... She's trying new champs, but she's trying all, like, hard champs, like high elo champs. You don't want to play high elo champs when you're at low elo. So, I'm going to try and have her play Nasus. Because I played Nasus when I first started getting good. And Nasus, I feel like, teaches you to scale, teaches you to farm, teaches you to last hit. And Nasus is so ungodly broken, even if you're not that good. You press, you hit level 6, you press R, you all in, you win pretty much every 1v1. It's just, the problem is you have to play Nasus then. I might die here. My Q got cancelled, she flashed my E. We'll just leave it. I'm not gonna risk it. I need to go buy. Lichbane is really a big power spike. I also really need Sork Shoes. Like, yeah, Nass is boring to play, but, like, do you want to get better, or do you want to just be stuck in the same loop? Like, do I use? I have all my gear listed on my website. It's mostly updated. I have a little tab. You can see all the Amazon links. 
If you do buy something, you get like five bucks or something, depending on how expensive it is. See, like I could jump in here, probably kill one of them, but I'm not doing that. Why am I not doing that? Because I'm going to die and give them a thousand gold. So it's not worth it for me to get an extra 300 gold just to give them 1,000 to make this game harder. So a noob would have went in there. They've been like, ooh, kill? Somebody's low? I got to get a kill. But then they die, and then they end up making it more difficult than it is. Oh, yeah, I should have that. Where's the vein and the poppy go? Like, sure, maybe I could have gotten out of Flash, but am I really going to burn everything for a chance at one kill? This dragon's actually... Like, they really made Infernal Soul even more snowball-y with these things because the team that's ahead is going to die less. So then they're going to have more souls. Um, why am I going up here? I don't know if I can... I mean, should we try? I think I might actually be able to one-shot him. Well, not anymore. Huh? Did he have a ward or something? Why did he just back up? I must have got spotted. It was weird that he just randomly moved. I'm ready. Yeah. But you gotta get good enough at the game to learn. Like, I, I saw that situation and I knew, like, if I go in there, like, at best, I'm going one for one, which is not worth. So there's no reason to go in there. Somebody not as experienced is just going to just run in there and die. They don't think about it before they actually go in. in a splash. Like, I guess it, it works for almost anything. If you're really good at something, really skilled at something, you know what's going to happen before it happens, I guess. Like, Vayne just go boom. She's going to alt in again. Watch. She's like, man, I just pressed R. i got to use it again. She's going to dash in while she's trying to damage me. Oh, kind of smart. But now she's dead. Well, she would have maybe been out if she didn't eat at the end there. Usually the Akalis really like using that R again. It was good on her for holding that. Um, what did I see? Hourglass? I mean, Hourglass would actually be pretty good here. Man, did, wow, this costs 1600 70 I'll actually just take this because we're 9 and 1. We give 1,000 gold shutdown if we die. This game is not over. Like, we could easily lose this game, so I should try and not die. The hourglass is so vital on Fizz, even if I'm against AP targets, because when the armor's good for keeping me alive, and then the stopwatch, after I E in, I'm dashless for a bit. Pop her shield. Oh, we don't want to. That's not the personal. I'm trying to bait Bran down here. And then I just kill Bran, because Bran's... If Bran doesn't build Hourglass, he's going to die in one shot every single time I hit him with a shark. See you later, alligator. See you later, alligator. See you later. Oh! Mobility, baby. Storm Surge just off hitting him with QW. No fear. Has destroyed a turret. 
I think Hoppy's W's back up. It definitely is now. I'm just trying to save the turret. Like, they're trying to bait me to go in. I'm not going in. I know what's going to happen. Now, Sharky's back up. Mr. Sharky might go in. And then I can maybe think about... Oh, hey. How you doing? I mean, if I don't see any of her teammates around her, I want to pop that shield because it's a crown. I can get some vision up. I wish I could see. We could steal this. Study. Now, I had options there. I could have jumped over the wall and stole it. I probably would have died. Die for Infernal Soul maybe be worse, but I don't know about a thousand gold shut down. They won't catch me. I probably should have went for it because I did kill Brand with just the shark. Is you're a coward. See? I am a coward for not letting them kill me. Who was up here? Was it Poppy? In a splash. Oh, I'm the coward. <laughs> Miss Banshee's Veil. Okay. You gotta be next level coward to build a Banshee's Veil on a Kali. Oh, and there goes your ult. One jump ahead of you. Nice ult. Well, the thing is, there's going to be more Infernal Dragons, so I think it was worth. As long as I just don't do a stupid death and die for no reason now for my next, like, if I do die. Uh -huh. Wanna see a trick? Ag, you're it. You know what? Let's just kill her. She's not invincible. I mean, look at she has two MR items and she blew up. Oh, well, the Brandall didn't bounce. Mord is somewhere up here. They're gonna clump up and this game's gonna get hard, but Amumu's really good for that. I haven't really seen Ash arrow anyone. Like, even though I'm even more fed than last game, this game's actually harder because they have stuff that counters me and they have a lot of damage. And they're they're playing a lot safer. They're not just running out in nowhere. They they put down wards, they go as a team, they hold hands, like three people top. I could kill the Kali and Bran, but then I might die to Mordekaiser at the end. But I should be able to get one and get out if I do find an opening. Swimming. Just the Banshee's Veil really stops me from just using R right away. And the crown needs to be popped on her too. I feel like I don't want this game to become an ARAM, so maybe I'm just gonna go split bot and see if I can get them to chase me. I'm ready. They already are. My team should be fine alone as long as they don't go too far out. I feel like Poppy's just going to follow me around. Yep, here they all come. Oh my god. Dude, their whole team came down here though. In a splash. Oh, see I screwed up. I didn't think her W was up for some reason. I thought I'd be able to flash an E out, but she just counters me so hard. Darn, that was stupid of me. But hey, look. Actually good team though, do something on the side of the map. Because I was like, you know, if they send four people bot, we probably should like get a turret, but we got Baron. Been 
The Poppy Vein are very hard to deal with, though, if I can't just one-shot them. The stupid Poppy W just hard counters me. I think I need a Void. Like, they're just... They're just only gonna build magic for this, so Trundle's gonna turn into our wind Tom. I might need... You know what I could do? I could build a Banshee's Veil, and that would stop the Poppy W from hitting me. I don't think they have, uh, they don't have ults. We can fight this. I maybe, I need to take out Mord first. I don't need ult to kill, uh... I'm bursting him before he can ult, and oh my god, he got blown up. Alright, I lose mid turret, don't care. I could flash Q Vayne, and it's gonna do, like... just really annoying. Poppy is just waiting. Oh my god, that Akali damage. It sucks, because Poppy is literally waiting every fight for me to go in. We just, we don't have an ADC. Like, why is she not ulting? Why is she not helping us? We're playing 4v5, unfortunately. And Brand had a big ult. I didn't even notice that he was on Dragon already. But it just sucks, like I'm getting Poppy W'd and then blown up. She's so mad. Akali's so mad, she's just trying to like make herself feel better that she's losing. But in reality, like her teammates are much better than mine, so she's like got a much easier time in these fights. Wanna see a trick? <sighs> we need Trundle to split. The problem is, like, we actually just don't have an ADC. Like, what was Ash doing the whole time? She's just, like, permanently farming mid. It's just weird. Like, if we had her there, we probably would have won. Like, imagine Vayne or Akali getting hit by an arrow. The Poppy even has TP. The Poppy literally just follows me around the map and counters me. Let's kill her. Oh, hey, she arrowed. There we go. That's all we need is literally just engage, pick. Maybe he's gonna need to grab the bomb, though. See, the thing is, if Mord's not dead, though, if I get Mord ulted after I jump in, I'm probably dead, too. Ash is gonna get bot. That's fine. I mean, at least she's playing. Somebody get the She, it's just the assassin player ego, man. She just can't accept that somebody is outplaying her, so she has to just make shit up. Hey, congrats, dude. You have Poppy permanently standing on top of me the whole game, and I'm still beating you. I mean, I want to try and split. The thing is, if I split, the, the enemy team literally goes wherever I go, so. Swimmingly. Well, 1-3-1. One, one. If they... It could work. If they go either side lane, we'll just get a... We'll either get mid turret or the other lane. I think it can work. I just need to make sure I don't get caught. Ooh. Where is he? I think there's a ward here. Oh. Okay, there's at least three up here. I mean, a Moomoo's here. I don't think we should fight this, but... And I can't get Poppy out of the way. You're not outplaying me though, bro. 
I'm gonna ignite her just because she doesn't die. Oh, my auto still went off. And? Grundle? Hello? Gromp is not, like... Oh, I'm so dead here. Yeah, it's worth it. Not really, but... She could have killed me without even dying those of them. Like, why are we taking a pit stop at Gromp, bro? You could have gotten in him by now. Where's your wave? They all died to a Kali mid. It's whatever. Oops. I'm trying to go, go, go. Oh, Vane's up, actually. You need to leave. Like, I feel like if Trundle didn't just, like, stop pushing... Uh, we're gonna lose soul, I feel. That really sucks that we lose Infernal. We're just outclassed, outnumbered of teammates. Yeah. Fizz, Fizz gets hard, hard, hard countered by... Smite that like 2k. I'm just hard countered by a stupid poppy. Full tank, full magic resist poppy that sits on top of me the whole team. I just like he's trying to, if he just TP's top and pushes top. He needs a Tiamat. He pushes so slow too. And now they're all gonna come bot. Can we just push top, please, or go to Baron? One or the other. Unfortunately, I think we are actually gonna lose this game unless we get a lucky pick in a fight. It was like their whole team is playing. Like, like they're trying so hard to stop me. Full magic resist builds, sending everybody for me. Well, my team is like so slow to get them to do anything. Like, but if if the Trundle's on the enemy team, the dude takes my inhib turrets before I'm even out of lane. But this guy like is so damn slow. Oh, they're not here. They went to the dry, or the Baron. Oh, of course now she doesn't want to fight me. Hey, Ash got it. That's good. Did she live? Get out alive? That's fine. We have some Barons if they just live. just pushes me out of everything, man. It's so annoying. Flash, TP, Poppy support is actually their strongest player is a sad thing. I need a Banshees, I think. I mean, if he just dies for it, like, don't be scared of her, just get it. Get this too. He can get out alive. That's good. Good job. Bro, I just like 1v4'd them. This Akali is like literally the stupidest person I've ever seen. What is this guy doing? What are you doing? We just need one fight where we can get them one by one. Maybe we do group as five and try. Brand has hourglass now, so I can't even kill him. But I think splitting's the way. If 
Like, imagine if Trundle had a Tiamat. It wouldn't take him an hour just to push one wave. Well, this Banshee should help me. They're fighting. But it looks like they got out. Good. We got them in a good 1-3-1 one, one, one here. They have to choose now who they're going to go for. Kane is a GA. They just have so many damn defensive items. I, I got two of them down here. Watch out. And now I need to push down here before before they go die to Bane. They're dying. Come on, Trundle. Push, bro. You're literally in a lane versus nobody. How are you the slowest? We can break open this base. Oh, of course. Copy and Bane permanently on my ass. Well, we got the inhib. Now we just swamp. It's like there's nothing I can do, man. I'm so hard countered by this. Um. Want to see a trick? Can't kill Poppy even though I have magic pen. Can't kill Vane, she's just GA. We need Trundle not to die right before this dragon's up, though. Issue. Oh, this guy's dead. Like, it's kind of crazy how their top laner, who's like a bruiser tank, is actually the easiest one to kill. Elder could really help us. Ash, could you please come here? We should just force 5v5 or whatever. Oh, they giving it. I think we just burn it. Oh, nice. We got him before he could, uh... Oh no, is that our jungler? Oh, we win. Ash did something. Wait, we gotta get this, bro. Okay, we win. Vayne stayed in base. There's no Vayne. They need Vayne. I gotta shit talk, dude. She's shit talking me the whole fucking game. I deserve to be able to shit talk for once. I normally never talk shit to people. Because I'm smurfing. But, like, she actually deserves it. Oh yeah, Ash Farm. She has 300 CS. Ash farmed all game for this moment. Go Ash, pop off. Good thing you scaled all game for that man. Why is she not talking? Why are you so quiet, Akali? Oh yeah, it's bot lane's fault now, because nothing's ever your fault. Stupid fucking assassin players, bro. You never learn anything. I was literally, like, teaching you guys this whole game. She's never gonna learn. She's never gonna learn. Stuck in this endless loop playing Akali. Everything else is everybody else's fault. Sure, you can beat people in a 1v1. That's what your champion does. But you still couldn't do that against me. Alright. Not bad. It just took this team... At least they listened to my calls. They just really slow at it. I mean, if Ash just played with us a little bit early, <laughs> I actually should have gave it to Amumu. Amumu at the end there got the good picks. But I mean, like, as soon as Ash started team fighting with us and playing, like, we, it was so easy. Trundle had really low damage. Which damage is structures? Uh...
All right. Well, not bad. I thought we were going to lose that game, and it would have been feeling bad to lose this trash-talking Akali. Oh, we did. 51k damage. And what is 1,800 on this? I mean, this game could be its own video by itself. Oh, yeah, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you later. Peace. Nice. Um, she doesn't have TP, so I could stay and try and push this. But I'm curious to see how this build works without a mana item, because Fizz used to go Ludens, but now he doesn't even build that, because the new Ludens is terrible. I'm not going to be able to get the casters. She's not going to let me. So we'll just leave. Swimmingly. Thanks for all the Twitch subs, guys. Make sure you join the Discord at discord.gg slash zwag. There's a giveaway in there. I'm giving away 10 of my keyboards. It ends in like a week, I'd say. I don't know when exactly. We are going to get the alternator. The alternator is really strong this season. 50 AP plus 63 damage that scales by level. So when I jump in and trade her, it's going to do a lot of damage. Want to see a trick? I was going to let it shoot one more shot. I don't think it would have survived. I was going to take Presence of Mind instead of Triumph, but I'm like, you know what? The extra gold might be nice to help me snowball. And we're going to get blue buffs. You get blue buffs a lot more these days. And after 20 minutes, you basically everyone gets blue buff on each team. So then when you kill somebody, if you don't have it, you're going to get blue buff too. So I think they made it so as W refunds full mana a few patches ago. So you can just farm with it. Let's go activate our alternator. Now, we do have less haste this season, but I have more damage, so that's fine. Did do a lot of damage to me there, though. I mean, her flash will still be down... I don't want to lose more of my HP before I hit level 6. Let's see, is she still here? I think I can auto these ones. She's so aggressive. I mean, I have time to just base here. Somehow she healed the full. I guess it was her potions. I don't know. One jump ahead of you. She might base here because she's gonna use the rest of her mana, but it's whatever. Every time I dash, she gets an empowered auto attack against me and I have two dashes my E might even count as two dashes on its own and then Q is there's three getting fruits again she's so dead I might still go for this the blind into the nocturne chaos is kind of brutal that sucks at least she died. Oh, he should have probably popped his ult at the beginning of the fight. A little unlucky Nocturne waited so long just to flash and steal it. But it's okay, Vex died. Emo's gonna have a nice bounty for me to claim later.
Darn, my wave's kind of bad, too. Just need to not get ganked by a heck from right here. Well, I even traded with her. It's decent. I can pretend like I base. Wish I had my shark up, though. I don't have enough damage to kill her, though. She's just a little bit too healthy. She really just uses her spells nonstop. Probably basing. Yep. Uh, you know what? We'll try and roam after this base. She's kind of difficult to kill alone because of her shield and her fear. But if I go to a side lane and just kill Teemo or Jin, it's probably easier. Almost have Storm Surge. I could grab Sork Shoes here, though. I'm only getting 10 AP, 5 moves. This delays my Storm Surge, but I think this is worth. I need to get around faster. Things I lose so much CS if I roam because she pushes pretty hard. I mean, Nocturne's finally level 6, so he's a champion. He can gank. We're even. She shouldn't have flashed there. After she got hit by the shark, she's just automatically dead if Nocturne's ulting too. Now, if it was just me, she could have lived. But since Nocturne was there too, not so lucky for you. I don't know where Hecarim is. I'm surprised he hasn't come mid at all. He's just like power farming. Oh, nice. This guy's getting the... Oh, we only have one grub. Are these the first grubs? No, they're the second ones, aren't they? Oh! No, the minions. I was trying to go for the uh, the minions and I just dodged the Vex, Vex ult on accident. Let me farm, bro. Okay, that, that's totally my fault. I'm dead, I think. I'm dead, no! Wait. Ah, oh, ignite. She, you know what? That's fine. She was zero and three. This resets her gold. It's an investment. What really sucks is if I would have just got one more minion, I would have this, but I don't have it. And I don't want to wait for 50. I'm telling you, once we get this item, we're going to snowball out of control. I'll just get a Magize too. I might be able to just all in her. I think I can 100 to 0 her. She's probably going to base. But we'll go kill someone else. Like the Teemo with the bounty. I'm just not expecting this Vex to just, like, straight up run me down every time she's in lane. It's it's not going to work for long, though. It's a pretty, pretty bad habit to have because he can just land one knockup. Of course. He's as slow as a turtle. He had more than an hour to go. Oh. No way. That was on him. He 
kind of tanky. Okay, of course I get ignited. <laughs> You're not getting back to your turret, buddy. I'm on a ward. Vex is a dragon, though. Oh, I got him. Yep, Fizz is balanced. You're welcome. Nice, Vex dead. All's well, ends well. All right, we're going to go Lich Bane next. That just gives me so much more burst. And since we have Ingenious Hunter, it's going to lower the cooldown of Storm Surge, Lich Bane, and then I should go Hourglass next just to abuse the lower cooldown on the Hourglass. Plus, what I can do is after I burst someone, I Hourglass, and then I can wait for my E. Yeah, you can flash in the middle of your E and pull the damage further. Wait, what? Are they low? I'm going to lose a cannon for this. No, 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 no. They are not low enough. I mean, we could fight this if somebody else goes in. I'll clean up. I can't go in first, though. They're probably dead before I even get there. Oh, no. They're... Well, I don't know how much gold I got there, but yeah, look at that. 1,000 gold. Didn't I just come back to lane with, like, nothing? I get extra... 30, and then I get extra, what, 20 from Triumph? So that's extra 50 gold on kills I'm getting. They won't catch me. Well, look at you. <laughs> which, that's almost an extra... That's like an extra 18% gold on kill, which is kind of crazy. Or do kills give 300 no or 350? I don't even know. Well, let's run up again. He's leaving. I mean, he's going to have shrooms. I'm going to need a sweeper. If I had ignite, I knew I know I can kill her full HP. Might be able to get her. Yeah, I got her. Dude, look at that. Like, and this is a champion that's supposed to be good against me because of her anti-dash extra damage. But that, that goes out the window now that... She dies before she can even hit me back. Storm Surge. Thanks for the extra 50 gold, too. I don't know if I got the extra 50 gold there. I mean, if I combo right, there's nothing she can do. Because I'm landing my E right after the shark that hits, so she has no time. There's no time to fear me before she takes all of her HP. Wanna see a trick? What actually counters Fizz? Um, not too much. Maybe like a Pantheon's decent. Vladimir can pool his shark, but Fizz can still do a lot of damage to a Vladimir. Yeah, Cassante. Gragas is decent. Lissandra. I need to kill bot lane. Who do I need? Hecram. Wait, I need jungler. I already killed the bot lane. I just remembered. Go find him. I think Vex is following me, though. This guy's dead. Dude, he he died before I could even QW him. Like he's just dead. My storm surge has like a 20 second cooldown now instead of a 30. Like I'm telling you, Fizz is not fair. And the thing that sucks is they're going to nerf these items. Like, this item's already been nerfed three times, by the way. It's still broken. It sucks, because the items are going to get nerfed too hard so that they're not strong on Fizz and stuff. Fizz and Echo, Diana, whatever. But if they're not strong on them, then they're going to be absolutely useless on, like, mages that want to use them. So, like, the problem is these kind of champs ruin the AP items for the rest. Mm, let's do... 
to get the hourglass. I don't know. In a splash. That's the only balancing issue there is. Is that assassins then abuse bruiser items, which ruin it for bruisers, and assassins also abuse mage items, which ruins it for mages. Let's go fishing. I caught a horse. And the thing is, like, I'm fed, yes, but it wasn't hard to get to where I'm at. Like, every time I see a Fizz in a game, this happens. Like, it's not because I'm getting, like, stupid fed by slain. luck. It's just, like, champ is stupid. X might kill them. And that's not even a lethality Hecarim. That Hecarim has an extra 500 HP in his items already. And he just got one shot. I probably need my ult to one shot him. But if I burst him here, I could probably do enough to make him run away and not fight me. Where is Vex? Hey Vex, you gotta chill with poking me. Because like, I'm not going to take that for much longer. Alright, well, I'm dead, but you're dead too. He doesn't even want me. I guess he didn't have all. I don't know what happened. Oh, they're looking for me. I might die soon, so I don't know if I'm going to buy that. Darn, I want the large rod, but I also want this. I'll just buy this. YOLO. Because if I buy this, I can use this and then upgrade an hourglass and then stopwatch twice in a row. Or no. Yes, there's no stopwatch no more. Hourglass twice in a row in two fights. I'm ready. Yeah, Galio would do decent versus Fizz. Anybody that can survive Fizz's burst without dying and then CC him. It's just like, use your spells on the wave. I'm just going to do that. I'm just going to kill you. Oh, he's fighting Hakram. I didn't even see. Where'd they at? Oh, hey. You're dead, too. Oh, yeah. I'm waiting for my W. He's gonna flash the wall or something. Wait, what did I kill him with? My W and Q didn't even hit, but I think I got a regular auto off. But yeah, this game looks like it just went from lane phase to over. Just like that. Well, maybe not if he gets. Horseman gets some kills. Which Horseman is going to give me some gold now. Thank you very much. It's just like... What were they thinking? I just think I can burst Teemo. If I don't kill him, I'm dead because... I don't have any mana to use more spells. Now I can't even kill him if I wanted. An enemy has been slain. An enemy has been slain. Um, well, I have a lot of money. So, I'll just buy this. Hold this. They won't catch buy me. Buy this. And GG. I'm going to play another one. We're going to do two Fizz games because they're going to go quick. I'm telling you, once I get Storm Surge, it's GG. Game over.